All right, you guys ready for the next comic tonight? Yeah. All right, our next comedian, he performs here at the Ice House. He's going to be at the Comedy Store, Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. Please give it up for... Fuck, I totally forgot his name. Totally forgot his name. Dylan Catrini! Oh, wow. I am from India. Everywhere I go, people expect me to talk with an Indian accent, so I don't want to disappoint you. My name is Dr. Sharma. I am an Indian dentist. I am the president of the Indian Dental Association. We support Sarah Phelan. Because every day I go to work, I say, Grill, baby, grill. <laughs> I'm sure you'll recognize this next voice. Hello, thank you for calling United Airlines. <laughs> I'm pleased to help you. My name is George Clooney. <laughs> I'm sorry, all flights have been suspended due to a volcano. <laughs> but we are offering these flights at half price, but we cannot guarantee the arrival. <laughs> I'd like to now introduce you to the Indian version of Dr. Phil, Dr. Babaram. Good evening, I am Dr. Babaram. Dr. Babaram would like to recommend for all of the men a special female aphrodisiac. 100% guaranteed, 100% success. It's called money. <laughs> Some letters for Dr. Babaram. Dear Dr. Babaram, my wife doesn't listen to me. What should I do? Get used to it. <laughs> Dear Dr. Babaram, my wife beats me. What should I do? Enjoy it. <laughs> a couple of important philosophical sayings from Dr. Balram. What is the difference between a married man and a beggar? One gets to keep his money. <laughs> what, is the difference, what is the difference between a married man and a man wanted by the FBI? One is wanted. <laughs> And for all of you ladies, if you're on that uh, not so comfortable date, it's not going too well, I'll give you a special prayer. It's a special Indian prayer just for you to practice. So you take a deep breath and you say, Om, he's a prayer. Hey, don't you feel better already? <laughs> and a little bit of advice to the women when you're picking your next boyfriend. Rule number one. Do not date the comedian. <laughs> Rule number two, make sure he has a job. Yeah. In India, we have a special expression for women who do not date men, who date men without a job. We call them uh, idiots. <laughs> make sure he doesn't have too many muscles, because muscles turn to fat, and then eventually you just end up with a big flop. <laughs> Being honest. So uh, women are always complaining that uh, men are not honest, so I'm here to tell you the truth. We lie. Uh, but we lie for your own good. <laughs> and I have tried being honest, so I'll give you a couple of examples. <clears throat> Does this make me look fat? Be honest. Uh, no. Uh, you look fat before you put that on. <laughs> The last thing I remember was a shoe flying towards me. <laughs> you like her, don't you? Uh, no, just her legs. <laughs> the last thing I remember was a chair flying towards me. <laughs> After I die, will you remarry? <laughs> Are you coming back? So I think in order to be honest and to have a, a, a truthful start to any relationship, we need a new set of marriage vows. So I wrote you a set of new marriage vows. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join this schmuck, excuse me, man, this beautiful bride. For the bride, do you take this man to be 50 pounds heavier from today for the rest of your life? Do you take his mother to be your mother. And by the way, she's a bitch. <laughs> Do you promise to love him, cherish him, and take all of his money and his property and control it from here until all eternity? 
do you take him that in 10 years from now he'll be 50 pounds heavier, bald, and you'll have more kids with him, and you will never sleep with any other man ever again? <laughs> For the groom, you have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law with her mother as a judge <laughs> and her girlfriends on the jury. <laughs> My name is Dylan. Yeah.